Hello students, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Today you are with me, your teacher Rajni Jemini and a student like you, Bhuvi Sharma. Hello friends. So ma'am, what are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn what many students of class 11th and 12th consider to be a very tough topic. Today we will learn how to write an article. You are right ma'am. I lose maximum marks in article writing. I just don't know what to do to get full marks here. So, are you happy that we are going to learn this today? Yes. I don't know what you are going to teach me. Is it some kind of magic that some people write so well while others always seem to struggle? Yes, Bhuvi. I know many people think it is some kind of magic. But today, I am going to teach you the secret behind this magic. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Though I am still expecting you to take out some magic wand, do your abracadabra and make me proficient in article writing. Well, Bhuvi, it's not magic. It's a process. And today, I'm going to take you through the process step by step. But before I tell you all about it, let us look at the CBSC marks division for article writing this year. The marks are only five. And those five marks are divided in three parts. One mark is for format, Two marks are for content and two marks are for expression. Really? Only five marks? I heard that it used to be ten marks. Yes, its weightage has been reduced. But that does not mean that it is any less important. In class 11th and 12th, you are expected to write an article for 120 to 150 words. But the process for writing would remain the same even when you write IAS exams. Now I get it. So you are saying that I should try to learn it properly and not pay too much attention to marks? Absolutely. So what is the process, ma'am? Well, it's a five-step process. And to help you remember, I like to call it PODA, where the word P stands for planning, O for organizing, D for drafting, E for editing, and R for revising. That's interesting. Ma'am, could you explain it in detail? Of course, dear. First, let me explain the planning stage. This is the stage where we generate content by gathering information from reading, prior knowledge and talking with others to help organize writing. Ma'am, but it's not so easy. I know that. So I'm going to share some more tips and tricks. In fact, do you know that the word plan itself is an acronym? Okay. And what does it stand for? Any guesses, Bhuvi? No, ma'am. I have no idea what it may stand for. Nothing to worry about. The word plan stands for P-L-A-N. And the word P is pay attention. And what is it that you are going to pay attention to? Pay attention to what the question is asking you to do. The word L stands for listing your main ideas. The word A for adding supporting details and the word N for numbering them in proper order. Ma'am, I'm quite confused actually. Don't be. I'm going to tell you a small activity to explain what do I mean by paying attention to the question. Let us have a look at this question. Now in this question, I want you to pay attention to the verbs. You can circle them and underline what is it that you have to do. We call it making a do what chart. So in a do what chart, if you have to select, then what is it that you have to select? One important topic. Very good. And you have to write? Write an article. And describe. Describe what? Describe it. What are its goals? What are the benefits or challenges? How much and where its impact occurred? Very good. And use what? Use examples and quotes if required. Very good, Bhuvi. Now I understand. So you are saying that whenever I get a question, I should re read it carefully and ask myself, what is the question asking me to do? Yes, absolutely. This is where it gets good. Once you are clear about, remember the L of the word plan. Yes, list down the main ideas. But that is the problem. I don't have any ideas. How would I list? Every time I look at a topic, my mind goes blank. Ma'am, can you tell me some strategies for generating ideas? Of course. Remember, I told you it is no magic. For generating ideas, one of the easiest techniques is brainstorming. 
means just think about a topic and jot down whatever comes to your mind. This sounds easy when you are telling me like this, but I know that I would not be able to do it when I am doing it alone. Okay, then let us try this one. This new technique is called PMI, plus minus interesting. This sounds nice, plus minus interesting. How to use it ma'am? Let us take the topic of saving the environment. Can you tell me some plus points about saving the environment? Why is it important? Yes ma'am. The environment is the most important resource for life. We get water, power and oxygen from the environment. It helps to clear pollution and it is a large habitat for animals. Our survival depends upon environment. Great! Can you think of some negatives or challenges that we face in saving the environment? Yes ma'am. I mean, an ever-increasing population and ever-depleting resources lead to an abuse of the environment. We are dependent on environment for everything and increasing demands of an ever-growing population lead of greater pollution and destruction of environment. Am I right? Yes, you are. I think I get the major idea, but it would be good if we could practice it using an example. Of course. See, now you are getting the hang of it. Any interesting points that you can think of? Okay, let me think. I find it very interesting that saving the environment is expensive. I would like to buy organic fruits and vegetables, but uh, they are much more pricey than other usual things. Of course, that's true. See, what do you think now? Yes, ma'am, this is easy. Think about a topic in terms of plus, minus and interesting and one gets good points. Absolutely right. Let us look at one more example. Suppose we have the topic Make in India. What do you think you would write in the plus points? Well, I would probably say that Make in India is the name of the flagship scheme by Government of India to give more incentive to business and entrepreneurs to manufacture goods in India. Yes, you are absolutely right. I can also say that it's an initiative to improve the economy with the main aim of making India a global manufacturing hub. What about the negatives or the challenges? The biggest challenge faced by the government is the lack of skilled labour. Correct. And what about interesting points? It is interesting that India rank in ease in doing business has improved after the scheme has started. Yes, now I feel that you are confident in dealing with the first stage, planning. Now let us move on to the second stage, organizing. Yes, ma'am. So once you have jotted down the points, you need to organize them. And for the organization, you can use an organizer that looks something like this. Now every paragraph will have about four or five points. In the first paragraph, you have your introduction. You write two, three points about the introduction. Then for the second and third point, you use what I call the two sides of the same coin. So para two and para three are related in terms that if you write advantages in para two, you write disadvantages in para three. If you write positives in para two, you write negatives in para three. So both of them explore an issue from both sides. And finally, in the conclusion, you give suggestions and you try to conclude on a positive note. This seems easy. So, are you ready for a little activity? I am giving you a few sentences. I want you to rearrange these sentences in their correct order to form the base of a meaningful article. It's an initiative to galvanize the economy with the main aim of making India a global manufacturing hub. To sum up, Make in India is the key to a prosperous India. Make in India by Neha. Make in India is the name of the flagship scheme by the government of India to give more incentive to business and entrepreneurs to manufacture goods in India. Already we observe that India's rank in ease in doing business has improved. The biggest challenge faced by the government is the lack of skilled labour. Yes, I think. The title and byline would come first, of course. Make in India by Neha. Yes, that one was easy. Next, we have to tell the readers what is Make in India all about. So, Make in India is the name of the flagship scheme by Government of India to give more incentive to business and entrepreneurs to manufacture goods in India. We'll come next. Okay, after that. After this, the positives. 
It's an initiative to galvanize the economy with the main aim of making India a global manufacturing hub. Only one point? No, I think this sentence. Already, we observed that India's rank in ease in doing business has improved. Would also come here. You are doing great and I'm sure our viewers are also following the steps. What about the challenges? Yes, the challenges are the biggest challenge faced by the government is the lack of skilled labour. And finally, the conclusion. To sum up, make in India is the key to a prosperous India. Thank you, ma'am. This activity was really good. It has given me certain guidelines about how I should go about planning my article. Great. Now let us move to the next stage, drafting. During this stage, you select words and sentences that most accurately convey ideas and transcribe those words and sentences into written language. Of course. Now that the plan is ready, start writing. Do you know that the word write is also an acronym? Is it? Then what does it stand for? Well, the W stands for work from the ideas you developed during planning the component to developing your thesis statement or claim. The R stands for remember to use the correct tense and voice. I stands for include transition words for each paragraph and T stands for try to use different kinds of sentences. And finally, use exciting, interesting words. This looks good. But I'm not very sure I understand transition words. These are words that we use to connect ideas in a long composition. Let me share a list with you. Say for example, you have made a point and you want to add something. You could use any of these words to add to your point. Can you think of an example? Okay, so for writing articles, brainstorming is a good technique. Additionally, we can also use PMI to generate ideas and guide our thinking. Yes, great. So now you actually need to write down adding details to the points that you thought. Okay, ma'am. Now comes the editing stage. At this stage, you need to look at your writing, read it and make changes to ensure that the text correctly adheres to the conventions of written English. Okay, ma'am. No strategies for this one? Of course there are. And this one is called COPS. As in call the COPS to correct your writing? That's funny. Haha, <laughs> it is. Yes, these are the writing COPS. And the word C stands for have I capitalized the first word of sentences and proper names? How is the overall appearance? Have I put in commas and end punctuation? Have I spelled all the words correctly? This is really helpful, ma'am. Now, I would remember exactly what all do I need to check. Cops. So, are you ready for some practice now? Absolutely, ma'am. I sure want to practice in further. Here is your article. Have a look and tell me what all needs to be fixed here. Government of India. The G and I should be capitalized. Already. The A should be capitalized. India's. The letter I should be capitalized and there should be an apostrophe before S. Very good. And consequently? The C should be capitalized and there is supposed to be a comma after the word and also the spelling should be corrected. Very good. Wonderful. You have really learned the lesson. Here is the rest of the article. See some more mistakes here? Okay. The spelling of however should be corrected and there should be a comma after the word. The spelling of challenges should be corrected and also the spelling of enterprises should be corrected. There should be a comma after to sum up. Make in India is the key to a prosperous India should be within inverted commas. You sure can write a good article. Wonderful. Now up to the last stage, revising. It is very important to read your article again and revise so that you can make changes to the text based on self evaluation and feedback from others. I am sure that you would give me an interesting strategy for this one also, won't you ma'am? Yes, you've guessed it right and this time the strategy is STAR. Reread your essay and make any necessary corrections with S, T, A or R as follow. Substitute overused words with precise words, weak verbs with strong verbs, Weak adjectives with strong adjectives and common nouns with proper nouns. 
take out unnecessary repetitions, irrelevant information or information that belongs elsewhere. Add details, descriptions, new information, figurative language, clarification of meaning or expanded ideas. And finally, rearrange information for a more logical flow, then make revisions accordingly. Oh great ma'am, now I am confident that I also know the magic and process of writing. Just to revise again, remember a few things. First of all, title. The first alphabet of each word in the title should be capital, except conjunctions, articles and prepositions. The byline comes next, which includes the name, class and also to be written at the end of the article on the left. Weave in the ideas in order instead of just random jotting. The language used should be clear, concise and to the point. The introduction should be thought-provoking, catchy. The development of the body, how each paragraph deals with one or two ideas. And conclusion should be paraphrasing ideas of article with a definite ending. Leaving a line after each paragraph is recommended. Stick to the format as well as the word limit. And finally, remember all these points. That's great ma'am. Now I will definitely remember it. Ready for some homework? Yes ma'am. I need to practice. But ma'am, don't you think this process is rather long? Well, remember when we are learning something, it seems long. But with practice, it starts happening automatically. You don't even have to think about it. Once you have done two, three questions, you would be quite an expert at it. Yes, ma'am. I will definitely do this question and a few more. It's time for us to say bye-bye to our viewers. I hope they also enjoyed learning with us. Happy article writing to all of you. Bye. Bye-bye.